This is an update on my I-130 visa. Last time I made a video was back in July. I'm still waiting on a response. Right now it's uh, January 7th, 2020. And um, we filed and it was sent back in May of 2019. Again, like I said, right now it's January 20th. I mean, January 7th, 2020. And uh, we're still waiting for a response uh, for our visa process. Uh, I mean, it is what it is. So, I mean, uh, and then on top of that, we had a child um, uh, who was born in December in Egypt. So that's another uh, process we got to go through as far as getting getting, uh, getting his passport. Now, for those, and uh, the paperwork we filed is called a uh, COBRA, or the that's the acronym they go by CRBA a child born abroad uh, no CBRA I believe uh, child born abroad you have to file out some paperwork now here's the kicker on that now once you file for that paperwork they're gonna send you a scheduled date to appear for a meeting now if your parents does not live in that country I'm talking about for US I'm not talking about for any other country but if your parent U.S. citizen lives in the U.S. and the parent lives in another country, for example, Mayans lives in Egypt, um, she has to file in Egypt. Now, um, the process with that is you have to find a council report, and then if the parent can't show up, like me, uh, who live in the U.S., you have to do an affidavit. Okay, so you have to do the passport application, you have to do a DS. I forgot the name of it. I should have that prepared and ready for you. Actually, I do. Um, you got to file for that paperwork, too. And um, that, I don't have that on me. But um, you have to file for that paperwork, too, to prove that you are an American citizen. Now, what they're going to ask for is proof of residency. Okay, your proof of residency, they say you have to go online because they're going to tell you to go online. Uh, you're going to need probably like a bank statement, an electric bill, something showing your residency, and a birth certificate. Okay, um, what I trust a country with my birth certificate. Hey, if you got to get your child over here, then you got to do what you got to do. Okay, so. Now I got to mail all that stuff to my wife by DHL, and DHL costs a pretty penny. That's about 80 bucks to send paperwork to another country, okay? Just paperwork. That's it. About 80 bucks and some change. Probably 84, 85, some dollars. So, but back to the visa, I want 30. I'm still waiting. It's almost, uh, let's see, like I said, I filed in May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January. It's like eight months now. So it's going to take some time for them to respond back. And they told me my waiting time is about a year. Okay. When I first filed for the paperwork, they told me it was six months. Okay. And then when I did an update on it, they said it's going to be up to a year. Now, does the Trump administration have something to do with this? I don't know. Could it be uh, people having their, uh, huge caseloads to do? I don't. That could be a factor, too. I'm pretty sure it is a factor. So um, that's it. Uh, nobody asked any questions. I only had six views from the last video, so I'll probably get another six views for this video. But just a refresher. I filed for a May and uh, for our visa, I-130 paperwork and visa uh, back in May of last year. It was sent and it received, sent and received, and I'm still waiting. Okay. I tried to do another video on a child born abroad for those who need questions about that. I have all that stuff ready for you, but right now I'm talking about I-130 visas. Okay. Now, the best way to do this for those, make sure you plan this right. Okay. Don't be rushed in into this i know you love this woman you don't want her to get away if she's gonna get away then she's not the one for you okay don't rush into this make sure you do it right the best thing to do is get a 90-day uh, fiance visa okay because you can do that here in the u.s and uh, things go a whole lot smoother from what i was told i don't know so uh but the reason i did mine is in egypt because most of our family was there and 
she don't have nobody here in the U.S. So that's it.